Gladiator had a rough start in the truck world. Jeep returned to this market after 30 years with the Wrangler pickup. The styling and performance were promising, but something is missing. Now, the Stellantis Group is reinforcing the lineup by bringing the Ram Rampage to the midsize class. However, that doesn't mean they are giving up on the Gladiator. Instead, changes for the 2025 model year could make it much more competitive in the midsize truck world. Stay until the end of the video to learn more about what will make the pickup worth buying. As the truck based on the Wrangler SUV, the Gladiator is following the footsteps of its sibling. It's not a surprise to see the rig with a hybrid configuration. A 2.0-liter gasoline engine, plus electric batteries, and you are getting a system that can provide 375 horsepower. Unfortunately, towing isn't its strong suit. The 2025 Jeep Gladiator 4XE can haul only 3,500 pounds. For comparison, the maximum towing capacity of standard engines is 7,700 pounds. As a plug-in variant, this hybrid can run solely on electric power, and the EV range is 22 miles. We hope the truck retains the legendary off-road capabilities of the Wrangler, which can tackle deep water even with such a drivetrain. Looking ahead, the Gladiator will become a pure EV, but not in 2025. First, we need to see a debut of the Wrangler Magneto. It's been a while since the prototype was shown and the last concept seemed production ready. Soon after its premiere, we can talk about an all-electric Gladiator. The next thing that will make the truck more appealing is a high-end engine. The company has announced the departure of the V8 Hemi unit. While you can still get a 6.4-liter engine with 470 horsepower, it will no longer be available after the 2024 final edition of the Wrangler. But, hold your horses, there is an upcoming replacement. An inline six plant is already being used by Ram 1500 truck and Jeep Wagoneer SUV. It might seem like overkill for the mid-size 2025 Gladiator to feature a drivetrain that cracks out 540 horsepower. Well, it's not too far off from the Rubicon 392 with V8 engine and 470 ponies. The company plans to launch a new trim level centered around a 3.0-liter turbocharged inline six power plant. The truck will keep the current engine's lineup. A diesel unit was dropped recently, so you can pick either a V6 or a Turbo 4 as the base setup, both offering similar outputs. A manual transmission might give the six-cylinder engine a slight edge. A mild hybrid setup is not boosting the gas mileage, but it's still a welcome addition, offering slightly improved fuel economy without compromising towing capacity. Gladiator will undergo some changes for the upcoming season. Still, Jeep won't abandon signature features such as a 7-slot grille, boxy silhouette, and removable top. This time, the stronger focus is on the interior. The cabin will be revised to become more convenient for working and traveling. A large touchscreen display sits at the central console. The Uconnect infotainment system was updated recently and offers more features. However, the best options are reserved for the higher-end trim levels. The base configuration, Sport, offers a solid starting point. Like its SUV counterpart, the 2025 Jeep Gladiator will also be ready to tackle different off-road challenges. You can choose from pre-made packages such as Mojave, Sahara, or Rubicon. The Hercules trim is not being added to the lineup. If you can't find a proper set of options and features, aftermarket upgrades are a great solution. Many of these features for the Wrangler SUV are compatible with the pickup truck. With all these changes, the 2025 Jeep Gladiator will be the truck to watch. We doubt it can become competitive with Tacoma and Colorado, but upgrading engine lineup is the first step. A discount would definitely make more buyers thinking about the Gladiator. For now, it costs above $38,000, and not too many enthusiasts are happy with the base offer. The new Gladiator will be released late this year. <laughs>